We've always been interested in sustainable architecture and sustainable design and have done lots of energy efficient and sustainable homes in the past. And the more we did that, the more we came towards Passive House just because it looks at all factors that have an impact on sustainable design. I'm Felicity. I'm Mark and together we're owners of this beautiful house. We're located in Coburg, which is about six, eight kilometers from the CBD. It's a residential area and it was a derelict site, like there was nothing on it when we bought the property and we thought it's a great opportunity to do something in terms of urban densification. The shape of the land is like a cheese wedge. So it goes actually to a point, starts at 12 meters. So it's actually quite a small piece of land. Because it's wedged between the train line and just a small bluestone laneway, it's very, very hard to get concrete trucks and to construct, especially if you build on the boundary. But we wanted to build on the boundary to make the most of the small land. When you come into the house, you have the sunken living area to start off with, which is two steps down. The level of the hallway is basically forming a seat where you can casually sit on and talk to the people who sit on the sofa, if the sofa is not enough and we love it, it's very communal. It's one of our favorite places to be. Then from here you can get a hint of the dining area and the kitchen area which is associated to the garden, so you have that connection there. And we've really tried to make the most out of a small space, so there's a lot of overlapping happening with built-in seats and storage solutions that are hidden away underneath. One of the major points that homeowners have a problem is usually the lack of storage. So it was very, very important for us to get that right. I'm a real bloom addict, I have to say. I really love the functionality, I love the look, I love the feel of it, and it has no off-gassing of any toxins, so it just does it all. My name is Tommy Alvinaris, Bloom Commercial Sales Consultant for Bloom in Melbourne. The Melbourne team and I help support the cabinet makers on this project during the building phase. Although Felicity and Mark had a vision in terms of which fittings they wanted to apply into the project, we also assisted with specification and also made suggestions in terms of workflow, organisation and ergonomics. Based on the material choice that Mark and Felicity chose for Hard Home, we were able to actually complement the fittings with Legrobox Pure in Terra Black. Workflows have been well thought out and continue through to each space as you make your way around the home. In the first floor bedrooms, we have Lego box, which is being used to store Lego. In the same space, there is also cabinets which double up as stairs to reach the next level. The main bedroom includes even more storage. Every inch of space has been used with floor to ceiling cabinets. Bloom has been able to support the family's quality of living for now and into the future. On the first floor, we have our private areas, which is the three kids' bedrooms. They all have their mezzanine space where they sleep and a play zone the entry level with a net that connects the mezzanine and the play area. Then we also have a master bedroom there, which is connected to the roof garden and a tranquil bathroom with a living green wall on that level. Then the further you come upstairs, the more quiet it becomes. So on the very top floor, under the roof, we have a rumpus room, which is a quiet space where you can retreat back to if you just want some time alone, rather than meeting all the other family members. Passive House is based on five principles. Four of them have to do with the building shell to make it high performance and highly insulating. And once we've got a really good building shell, we then look at the indoor air quality, which we do with the help of a mechanical heat recovery ventilation system. So that brings in fresh air from the outside, takes out the stale air from the inside. They cross paths in a heat exchanger. And that way we can keep the temperature stable inside the house at all times. And once you do that and you make houses more energy efficient, make them more airtight, then you need to look at the building physics and make sure you don't end up with condensation in your walls and you have good indoor air quality and all that. And Passive House encompasses all of that without going to any extra measures. And that's why it's such a beautiful principle. And it's a home that is healthy and comfortable at all times inside. And why wouldn't you be passionate about it? It's not easy to create a home that is carbon neutral. And we've done quite a bit of research. We came across timber as the ultimate material because it stores carbon. So it's actually more than carbon neutral. And at the same time, it has a biophilic aspect as well for people. So we found it our key material in the project. We also looked at 
all the other materials that we put in, like the brick and the concrete, to make it as carbon neutral as possible, and we're quite successful with that. I think the fact that it is healthy and comfortable and has ideal temperature all year round, it has all this functionality with all the storage solutions, all these things come together. And yeah, I come down the staircase each morning, I'm the first one up and I think this is amazing that I'm here and that I can live here. I'm really proud that we managed to create a home that's good for the planet and good for the person living in there and that it acts as an inspiration for others to follow suit.